dark web. It's a mirror image of the above ground economy. The same volatile economic constraints we experience are also present in the underground. Supply and demand matters. There are winners and there are losers. There are leechers who recycle the ideas of the innovators. It's a very similar ecosystem to what we experience every day. But it also has its own peculiar language and culture. It has its own geographies, and within each location are very different cultures. You have codes of conduct. You have a very sophisticated network of people who impose their own rules. And groups coalesce around the ones that have agreed to play the same game as them. And it's noisy, intentionally so. You have to stand out with your quality of goods, your customer service, and the way you interact with people. There are enforcement mechanisms, but it differs from the above ground economy in that there's no formal judicial body that penalizes you. It's effectively mob rule by consent. Our team's deep understanding of how the underground economy works directly benefits the customers we serve. As you might expect, there's a lot of turnover and forms typically get shut down in one of two ways. Law enforcement steps in and shuts it down. Or forum admins sense something is amiss and they perform something called an exit scam. An exit scam is when the forum admin sees all money sitting in escrow. The escrow holds the cryptocurrency that is transferred between buyers and sellers. The admin sees the money, shuts down the forum, takes the money, and runs. Our team is often asked to procure an item on behalf of a client. Usually, this is some sort of intellectual property or tool that would be used specifically to attack the client. There have been several occasions where we identified signals that an exit scam was imminent. We advised our clients to hold off, and sure enough, within a week, our suspicions were confirmed. We were able to save our clients money, and perhaps more importantly, we were able to provide peace of mind.